good morning. I feel like I'm looking a bit rough. <laughs> so um, I am home alone this weekend. My partner has gone back to visit family for the weekend. I didn't go because I um, have my dissertation draft due on Monday, it's currently Saturday, and I also have an interview on Saturday. So I've got lots to do this weekend. Uh, so I thought because it was just me and me slash you, <laughs> um, I would film it and uh, record this experience basically because on Monday um, my interview is for a MPhil in Polar Studies at Cambridge University and it is my dream university and I am very nervous about it. Yeah, I want to record this experience for myself um, to look back on, um, if it's positive, if it's negative, I will really be too upset to post this video but I might post it later on, I don't know. But yeah, okay. So, Saturday, it's about nine o'clock, done yoga, put a wash on, soaking some other clothes. I'm just gonna get myself ready and get all my, get myself a cup of tea, get all my computer set up and stuff and then I'm gonna take myself out today, literally for the first time. <laughs> In so long I'm gonna take myself to my local town um, and I'm going to um, buy myself coffee and I'm gonna go around the charity shops because I am looking for some bits um, and yeah I can try and take you along for that but if I get anything I'll show you what I get and stuff but other than that we're just gonna be studying looking after myself I've been really burnt out the last couple of days so I haven't really done much revision or uh, like work on my discs or stuff like that um but yeah i'm feeling a bit better now and then of course my outfit of the day it really feels like spring is here now it's really bright um i have these dungarees that i got in a vintage shop a couple of years ago i love them lots they're very much a spring dungaree though because they're quite like short on the legs um, and then underneath this jumper I just have a tank top which was my mum's and then um, this jumper I've had for years um, and years and it was I got it as a Christmas present I've had it for about five years on the weekends I do like to move like my entire office set up to our dining room table just because it makes it so much easier to work it means that i can look out the window <laughs> um because i face a wall and that just faces onto a junction this is a much nicer view and there's much more sunlight so i think it's good for me um i myself a cup of tea and i've got myself some chocolate uh this is the cadbury's vegan one i think i got it it was all like past its best before date so mm. later i thought i finished my introduction i have finished it like I've written it a few times now. I feel like, yeah, when you're writing a big piece of work like dissertation, you just it's just rewriting all the time. Like you write something and then you rewrite it and then you rewrite it. And this is the fifth time <laughs> I've rewritten my instruction. My instruction is also a literature review, so it's like supposed to be just under two and a half thousand words. About a quarter of my total dissertation because it's kind of introducing the reader to everything that I'm going to be talking about all my work and kind of um creating a research space basically like leading up to alluding to um a gap in the literature in the research where I can squeeze my little my little piece in um, anyway so that's my task finished it's now half past 11 a bit later than I wanted it to be but I'm glad I've got that done it's a good time now to go out I feel like I'm not hungry, I really need to go to the toilet, drink some water, um, but yeah, then head into town. Um, I might just change out this jumper because it looks really chunky underneath my, ow, underneath my dungarees, but. Afternoon, so back home from going to the shops. I only bought one thing. Um, I got this, is it pink? Is it orange? Pinky orange, it looks really bright. I don't know, this can, 
there we go pinky orange um running vest um it's a new balance running vest and i paid like three pounds for it it's really nice though because it's like got a slit that covers your bum and stuff yeah so that's really lovely i thought that the charity shorts would be cheaper than vintage because i really just need some strappy summer tops um and also some sports tops like i bought because my eco egg destroyed my favorite nike strappy top which was doubled as like a sports top and just a day stay top and it made me really sad because it was my favorite but you know whatever <laughs> um yeah so I don't really I don't use the eco egg for clothes now I just use it for like cleaning pots and stuff because I do not trust it and moving over to like refillable laundry liquid instead because it's not worth like it destroy if it gets any of our nicer clothes like the my linen fox clothes and stuff and destroys them I'll be so upset so I'm gonna make some lunch I didn't stop for coffee because like I was so hungry and then I was just like well I'll end up buying lunch and I don't want to buy lunch so I think we have some bread that we got reduced the other day. That's still good. Yeah, so I'm gonna make some toast with baked beans and I think we have vegan cheese. Yes! Vegan cheese, yeah. So it's now quarter to eight. I haven't got that much done today. I've just been procrastinating. I think I'm just so stressed that I'm just utterly exhausted, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I'm just really struggling to get anything done. Oh. So yeah, I'm going to set myself like a bedtime of like 11, maybe 12. Um, because I do work quite well in the evening. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go for just a 1k run. I'm just going to go in like a quick loop, um, clear my head, <laughs> and tomorrow I'm going to take myself out for coffee. Maybe, maybe not. I'll see how I feel, but let's get changed. I'm sorry, I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but when I haven't exercised for a few days, like I feel really... <laughs> like i don't know how to explain it um, a bit like swollen like i'm retaining loads of water like especially in my legs and my skin it just feels like really oily and disgusting like it's all clogged and my hair like i just i just feel i just feel horrendous when i haven't exercised in a few days and always with the first time i exercise after a few days like today um, first time going for a run in like three days. I only did two kilometers, I said I'll do one, and I ended up doing two, because I just, it felt really good. Um, and like, I just, it's, it's so difficult, like I feel so rubbish about myself, I feel horrible in my skin. Um, I don't know if anyone else can relate, whatever, but um, I am going to have a shower. My hair is really greasy, so I am going to have a lovely shower. I'm currently using the Aveda Nutriplenish Shampoo and Conditioner. My God, has it made such a difference to my hair. I have so much baby hair, so much growth. I do need to put myself in for another hair trim, but it's made such a difference to my hair and I don't have to wash my hair as often. I wash my hair every three days. Um, I wash it that often. I've tried to go longer. Because I have a very oily scalp, um, I have I'm, I have oily skin. I'm an oily person, um, and because I exercise every day, it means like if I don't exercise, my hair could go five days. But because I do, it just means and I can't it means my hair gets greasy and I can't tie my hair all the way up when I run because it's too heavy. I do have quite thick hair. Um, I have to do like a half up, which means that uh, it's still all like you know. Anyway, so. I just need to wash and do my skincare and um, then I have some packet noodles for dinner. <laughs> I'm also really trying to get in the habit of when I when I wash my hair, um, I'm just going to leave it, tie back a bit, um, I do my extended skincare so when I wash my hair I always, and like soap on my body and stuff, 
I use quite hot water and then I have a cold shower afterwards. And I have a cold shower every morning after yoga anyway. Help me wake up and stuff. And I struggle with my paws. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm trying to do more clay face masks for that. Um, and this is the one I'm using at the moment. It's a wide eye one. Um, I love wide eye face masks. They come in a nice glass jar that you can return. And they just reuse. Whilst that does that. I have this, um, this is like leave-in conditioner that is from the same range, same Aveda range. And I just put quite a few pumps. And I run my hands through my hair. So my skincare, I've been currently using this Ordinary Salicylic Acid solution. Um, my partner doesn't like the Ordinary because he's got quite sensitive skin. This, I always thought I had sensitive skin, but it turns out I don't. <laughs> I can stand anything. So I put this on in the evening. And then morning and night, I use this a nice cinnamide and rose water that I actually fancy came back. <laughs> I just have a little bit of my Suki moisturiser left, literally what's in our travel tub, and then I have some um, Jehovah oil, um, Jehovah oil, um, that I'm trying to transition to more natural products while still using like products that actually work for my skin. I do have oily skin like I said, but like it doesn't get too dried out with skin products. To be honest with you, um, it used to when I used a tea tree toner water. This is just a, a lush eye cream that the label's long worn off. Well, I peeled it off because I got fed up with it shedding all over my hands. And I don't use that much moisturizer, just like that. That's a bit much, to be honest. I'll put it on my neck as well. And that's my skincare as of late. That's it. Realistically, I don't know what I'm doing, but let's hope for the wedding I have nice skin <laughs> and for my interview. So I just got home from the cafe. Um, I had like two coffees and a cake, <laughs> but one coffee was free because I'd like filled up one of those loyalty cards. Um, so yeah, that was really lovely. Um, I stayed there for about two hours, got a lot of work done actually, and now I'm really motivated to do more work. But I would like to prepare the house for everything <laughs> because it's going to be um, I'm going to be quite stressed tomorrow. Um, when my interview is. I'm sorry I don't film this morning. I woke up like really, I woke up at half past seven, which is my normal waking time. I've been waking up later recently because I'm just tired and I work quite late. Um, but I didn't go to bed till two. Um, I finished work at like midnight. Didn't go to bed till two. I just couldn't fall asleep, to be honest with you. Um, and so I woke up at half past seven, my normal time, even though I set my alarm at half past nine. And then I kind of sat up and thought, oh, you know, I'll... Um, get some breakfast, maybe do some yoga, and then I fell asleep for another two hours until until my alarm went be about half past nine. And then you know when you don't get a full sleep cycle in, and you just feel a bit like, oh, yeah. And so the outfit I got out to wear today, I didn't wear. <laughs> I ended up just wearing. I'm still wearing my pajama top <laughs> and my like lounge around jumper. I just couldn't be bothered um, this morning to be dealing with anything complicated to wear. Um, so yeah, I'm home now, it's probably about two. Um, my washing is dry. Um, I want to give the house a quick clean, nothing insane, just like a quick dust spray hoover, that's it. Um, and then later on, maybe this afternoon after I've done another hour or two of work, I'll go for my run and do yoga and I wanna do a Pilates workout as well. Cause I'm just feeling very like, rubbish from not <laughs> exercising properly for a while. Sorry, I have an update. 
day to do in a couple of hours. Um, yeah, just a lot on my mind. So I did work for a couple of hours, did all my like citation checking and uh, me and my partner, my partner's now home and we've been preparing for my interview, asking questions for that. Had a call with my mum because it's Mother's Day today. Uh, just popped to the shops to buy some tea. We're out of decaf tea and I just, I need a black tea before bed and we didn't have any decaf so uh, popped into our, like a small Tesco, Tesco's Express and got this Yorkshire decaf tea which I was really surprised to find on their website. The um, tea bags are compostable as well. Not home compostable but you can put them in your curbside food waste which is what we have so that's awesome. Um, so I just made a cup of that. Got myself um, some tinned peaches as a snack. Uh, my partner made lentil bolognese for dinner, which was lovely, and went for a run as well. And now it's probably about nine, half past nine. Just gonna write up some more notes on my um, for my interview and drink my tea, eat my tinned peaches and then go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Yes. One asynthetic aperture. To investigate supraglacial lakes in West Creek, the automated algorithm is Venetol 2040. Now I'm just gonna do some really basic, uh, simple, easy makeup. Um, firstly, some concealer. Then I'll do a little bit of eyeshadow. Okay. Um, and now I do have this eyeliner that I think I'm just going to put a little bit on my upper and a really small flick. Nothing, nothing massive or major, just tiny. Just created more of like a smoky look. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then curl my eyelashes, put some mascara. Now for lips, I just have a lip liner, um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and this like lip balmy thingy. <sighs> okay, makeup done. The next step is jewelry. So I actually have some very special jewellery that I'm going to wear today um, that I bought for the wedding to wear on my wedding day and I decided if there was any time I could wear it before it would be now. So I have this beautiful, this is new, um, handmade silver olive branch leaf wreath necklace. And I'll wear it with my olive branch earrings that my partner bought me when we first got together. Which is where the whole olive thing came from. And of course all my rings that I've been collecting over the years <laughs> from various places. This one I've had for over, uh, over half my lifetime now. I'm going to wear that all the time. This one I got off of Vinted. Um, again to go with the olive branch theme and yeah really good I actually got bent because they didn't post it properly when we made our wedding, wedding ring she bent it back to shape um, and now it's lovely yeah what's my engagement ring and this is actually a ring that um, Ed my partner's grandma gave me so that's very special and it ties in all of my different types of rings, you know, I think. Yeah, so that's me ready. I'm gonna go have a coffee and try and chill out. <laughs> try and chill out. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you later. Also, totally forgot to share my outfit. Actually, I did, but the clip got, didn't film or something. Um, so I'm wearing this skirt, which I got secondhand. It's a jigsaw skirt, it's satin, it's lovely my organic basics tights and just some fluffy socks i'll change into shoes i have this second hand like vest thing underneath um and then this uh wrap top that i got recently from tk max actually it was in their clearance so i can resist it um i do buy things from tk max if like 
they're not made by TK Maxx, if they're made by like a known brand, and this was so reduced, it was less than £10, and it was meant to be like £70 new, and I've been looking for one for years, so find a nice high quality one, um, it's like I definitely think I'm going to use it, wear it, love it for many many years. So I really wanted to share how I'm preparing for an hour until the interview, hour and ten, and just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at. So I've printed off my application form for Cambridge and I've basically just gone through it with a highlighter pen written all over it, um, expanding on all the points I've made, made sure that I know all the points I've made in my head. Um, I've then also gone through my CV, highlighted it, all the key points, anything that I can expand on, or they might ask me about, I've put in there. They did tell me that the interview will mainly be to assess my suitability for the programme, my motivation behind wanting to do an MPhil and further studies, and an opportunity to ask me questions. So on this page, which is uh, the back of my statement of interest, um, which I also reread, I just didn't highlight, just so I know. They're probably not going to ask you things, well, at least this is what my supervisor told me. They're probably not going to ask you things they already know, because it's only 20 minutes, which is a waste of time. So um, I've got on here potential interview questions. I went to my university's career service, asked their advice on postgraduate academic interviews. Um, I also asked my supervisor and my course leader, and this is kind of like a summary of the questions. And from that, I built this lovely printed document um, that I'm going to have next to me, which basically has um, all the main questions, a lot of questions, um, are the same but they're just worded differently so like suitability to the program like what do you think makes you a suitable candidate for this program um, what can you bring to the table um, you know why do you want to do this program all that it's kind of very similar and I have at least three bullet points under each one apart from my questions to ask um, so yeah you should have some questions prepared beforehand and then also I've written this in note format so that if I need it I just look across and also the keywords in each of my points are bold red so my eyes are immediately drawn to that and say oh okay diligent and dedicated right I know what I'm going to say about that um, and just practice like communicate to work well as a team um, you know my, how, how my undergraduate studies contributed to me being suitable for this program and so on and so forth so I'm just reading through all of this I've read through some of my potential supervisor who was the one who's interviewing me and all that one, one other person um one of i can't access the paper which i really want to read because <laughs> it was never published properly it's a thesis um but i've i've read another one and kind of got an idea of uh what i could be doing for my um for my research there for my thesis there and i have that in front of me as well so i know um, and yeah, I also need to have in my head like the importance of this research, why is it important? Um, and yeah, I'm trying to stay calm, I'm trying to stay calm. But yeah, I do actually, I feel, I'm starting to feel quite prepared. I've only got an hour, but yeah. Okay, out of the interview, it was really hard. So, so many technical questions I wasn't expecting. So me and my partner went for a coffee and I had to go pick some stuff from some areas in town and um, yeah. And then I called my mum and now I'm talking to you. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll find out in a week or two and I'll obviously let you know what the outcome is um, at the end of this video.